what's up? I'm Jen and I'm short. This isn't just a regular GS. This is the GS Mother Lovin' F! This one's in a delightfully bright shade of orange called Molten Pearl and matching calipers. Now I know this color is not for everyone, I get that. In fact, I was a little against it at first myself, but the last few days, this shade of orange has really grown on me. In fact, I find myself looking at it in reflections. A lot. Anyways, none of that has anything to do with my height. Now since this is an F, and it has the fancy F seats on the inside, I thought I might have issues with them, thought I'd be sitting really low and have the really high bolsters, kind of like in the RCF. But as you can see, this is actually pretty comfortable. In fact, my feet reach the floor just fine, and I can reach the pedals just fine. I can see very nicely over the steering wheel, and this is even with the seat in a position that's a little bit further back than I had it set. When you start the car, it moves up into the position that you need to be in for driving so accommodating. And this car doesn't have that remote touch thing going on. Instead, there's the mouse with a wrist rest right here, which is a little far away for me, but it's still not completely uncomfortable. And I can just use the regular armrest if I wanted to, so it's actually really comfortable. While I'm in here, can we just take a moment to appreciate the beauty of this interior? Look at the detail in here. Look at the materials used. It's amazing. All right, sorry, I digress. Let's check out the hood situation. Here we go. <gasps> Do you remember the RCF? I could not reach that hood from the front. I had to go around to the side. Oh my God, it's magical. Can we, just, can we just take a second here to appreciate this carbon fiber lip spoiler on the trunk? All right, this trunk is massive. I think I could live back here. You should check it out. There's a lot of space back here, guys. There's still a ton of space next to me. I mean, I wouldn't be able to lay like straight out like I am right now, but I mean, still, there is space back here. Another cool thing about this trunk, when you close it, you don't even have to try hard. Oh, you see that? It did it for me. Oh my God. I mean, look at this. It just, it just sits nicely from the factory. It doesn't even look like it needs spacers. It's just nice as is. Back seat. Let's see how it is. Obviously, I know how it is. I started the video off in the back seat. It's really comfortable back here. You knew that already though. There's no surprise. Oh, I like everything about this car. So, uh, so here's the thing. I have a dilemma now. I realize this is probably classified as first world problems, but I don't know what to pick now. I was really hoping I wouldn't like the GSF. I was hoping it would just be, I don't know, boring or something. But now that I've driven the RCF and I've driven the GSF, well, now I don't know what to do. I mean, let's compare the two. Let's, let's talk about pros and cons here. The RCF definitely looks more like the Batmobile from the exterior, right? But then the GSF has this way better interior. You got a 12.3 inch display screen versus the seven inch screen in the RCF. And then you've got the color head up display, which is awesome. The Batmobile would definitely have a color head up display, right? And the seats. I mean, they're not as big and bolstery as, as the RCF seats. I can get in and out very comfortably and I can see everything just fine. Ugh. Now, certain reviews have said that the GSF actually drives better than the RCF. There's only one way to find out. To the canyons. We are going a whopping 19 miles per hour right now in LA traffic. Nothing more exciting than LA traffic on a weekend. Um, it's okay. 
because even in traffic, you throw this car into eco mode and you know what? It's still a super comfortable ride, so it's actually okay. And we'll eventually get to the fun roads. But for now, we're doing a whopping 20, 15, 14, all right, woo! Well, damn it, it is better than the RCF. It actually handles so much nicer. It doesn't feel sloppy. Oh, this car is awesome. This car is awesome. I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> but I really like the exterior styling of the RCF better because I feel like Batmobile would be driving a coupe, right? He wouldn't be driving a sedan, even if it is a sports sedan, right? Oh, if I could just have the RCF exterior, but then with the GSF, interior and technology like the head-up display and the bigger screen and even the gsf handling but you just have like both don't worry i will solve this dilemma soon if you enjoyed this video give it a like and if you want to see which car i end up choosing well then click that subscribe button and in the meantime feel free to check out any of my previous videos i make videos with all kinds of vehicles to show you what it's like from my high challenge perspective questions comments, concerns, leave them in the comments down below, or you can leave them on my Facebook page. Thanks so much for watching, but now it is time to roll the F out.